and welcome back this morning. Today we're going to get into, we have the, the kitchen cabinets that are installed. They have this weak point. Let me show you what I'm talking about. So this is one of the drawers from up there. You can see it's just a regular drawer. But the thing we've noticed is over time, the this bottom is weak and it's starting to sag. So you can see it's actually starting to curve down from where it should be. So what we're going to do is try to figure out how we can uh, either reinforce this or fix this. And then once we get this one done, we'll take care and do the rest. And if you're curious, we do have a basically a kitchen renovation video about when we did all of this work. So this is somewhat recent, but it's been about a year and a half. And this, this drawer did have a lot of weight in it. So that's why we're trying to look at fixing everything. All right. So I'm trying to figure out how these are mounted. And you can see here this piece it's actually pressed into the wood. It seems like that's how they have these fastened. So I was looking for some kind of screws or mounting hardware, but there is nothing on these. So it seems like that is how they got pressed in. It looks like they basically hammered these in because there is little, oh, come on focus. There is a little stress cracks here in the paint where it looks like these were this metal was flexed probably when they tried to put it in. So I have to come back and rethink how we want to do this because I won't be able to go flush all the way against there with a board because of this bracket. All right, I was forgetting to do this, but let me show you how we're uh, getting this done. So what I figured out is there's actually a couple holes right here on this bracket, and then there's one the corresponding right on the other side here. That's why I drew the line there and the line here. So what I'm gonna do is because this part is sticking out further than the wood, I've actually notched it. So you can see how that's gonna go up tight against the wood. So this is gonna get glued and screwed together. So now I come over to this side and I gotta actually do the same thing. You can see I have it notched out to go around that part. So all the string's gonna come from around here with this being screwed in and essentially it'd be like a little saddle strap across here holding everything down so we're gonna go ahead and get this notch cut out didn't show it but you know really just to cut that little notch out i just use a regular old just a little jigsaw nothing special you could even just use a little hammer and chisel if you really wanted to all right now i'd be able to see if i can get this down in here nice and tight and then this side is going to be the same down in nice and tight so we're just about even with the bottom of here and there's only about a maybe a 16th of an inch difference which would be plenty to clear the bracket underneath but this will give it a lot more strength so we're going to go ahead and get this pre-drilled All right, now we're gonna have to get this and I'm actually gonna get some clamps and clamp this in spot. So I'll be right back once we get that done. All right, now we got this clamped in spot. This is so that way I can pilot hole this board. I'm not sure how I'm going to show this next part, but what I need to do is lift the board, put the glue in, and then put the clamps back in. So I'm just going to go ahead and get that, put the clamps back in, and then we'll pick it back up. All right, drawing that little line on there too, so that way I know I can actually put some glue on here to get this to help bond to that better also. All right, so now we're gonna get this put back in spot. And when you're putting your clamps on, make sure you leave it open so you can get your screws in. All 
All right, now we're just gonna let it sit for about an hour or so, just so that way I can make sure the glue has plenty of chance to cure and dry. If you're really concerned about it, you could actually flip the whole thing over, and maybe put a couple of little brad nails through the drawer bottom into that, but it already had a bow pushing against it, so I'm not too concerned about that. So now it's gonna let it sit for about an hour. So we've been waiting for an hour, now we'll see how everything looks. All right, we're gonna go ahead and get the clamps off of everything. Actually pretty sturdy. Now the inside has no give. It's nice and tight. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and put this back in. Here we are again in the workshop. That other one worked very well for the door. So now we have another one here that we're gonna work on. This one has a similar issue because this is such a long drawer. And as soon as you put some weight in it, this middle keeps bowing out. I actually had to go back and pop this back in the groove and this was, I can see, was liquid nailed at one point into the back one. So we're going to go ahead and come up with some kind of bracing for this one also. But I don't know about going all the way crossed. So I think this one might run two of them front to back. All right. After we get this apart, I did take the drawer face off. And let me show you what I found. You can see this whole drawer is held a nail with these little brad nails. I don't know if you can, you can see two of them here. But there's none at the top. So that makes this whole thing flex. So what we're going to do is actually get this fixed up and actually strengthen this whole thing. So what we're going to do is put this together and I'm actually going to run two supports across, but with the drawer face off, I can now put my screws through here and you won't see them in the front. And then in the back of the drawer, it's going to be in a cabinet. So you can't see it anyway. Here we are with the first step done. I actually went ahead and put some wood glue down inside this front part. And then we got this whole thing clamped together. So that way it'll actually hold it while that glue sets up. But in the meantime, I can get my pieces. The pieces are cut and in place. Now we're gonna do the same thing as we did with the last one. We got these, they're in place. So we drew a line so that way I can put, put some adhesive in here too and glue this. But we're gonna go ahead and get our each end drilled out first. Keep in mind when you're doing these things too, what your hardware is gonna be. Like, let me show you what I'm talking about. I'm going to be using just drywall screws to fasten this because it's just holding it in. But you can see how I got this one recessed so that way the head is going to be flush. Because this is the one where the door face is going to be fastened back onto it. So I'll show you how we do this with this. All right, so what we're using is a regular drill bit. But what you do is actually put this so it'll rotate backwards so it won't cut. And essentially push it in to where you're going. And now you can see I have a recessed hole and I don't have to worry about it getting ripped out. And that's what it looks like on extreme close-up. So now you have that down. We're going to go ahead. We're going to remove the boards off there, get the glue and everything in place, and get everything screwed down. I'm sure you just saw that that wood split a little bit. That's what I get for not putting the drilling it out better. But 
it's not lost. What we're going to do is go back. We're going to actually pull it apart. We're going to get some wood glue in there, get it clamped, let it dry, and then redo it. So we went ahead and put the screw back in to pull it back apart again. Now we're going to get the glue in there. All right, now you can see I got the glue in here. We're going to go ahead and get that screw back out. All right, and you can see all the glue that's squished back out. So we're going to get a piece of paper towel and wipe it off. All right, now it's all dried. We're going to go ahead and get this screw put back in. The screw's back in. We're just going to go ahead and let it clamp, you know, sit here for at least an hour or so. And then let me show you what we got going. All right, everything's on. You see I still have the clamp across because that's still drying over there. We got the boards on, so they're going to go ahead and set up now. And right here, that's where we had the issue. Now you can see we got a little bit more of the glue seeped out, but we're going to keep it clamped. So that way this can all set up and harden. Now we'll just wait for our hour and we'll come back and see how everything is. All right, we did change a little bit. So let me show you what we I ended up doing to this. You can see now I have another clamp come across here. Because remember, we had issues with these corners coming apart. So they are clamped, you know, with the glue in between there. To let that all dry. And just for a little extra measure, I did run a bead around everything just to help it set up better. I'm just hoping a little bit extra glue and where you can't see it might help make it a little bit stronger. So now we're probably going to let this just sit until tomorrow because I have so much extra on it. All right, so now we're going to go ahead and we're going to get all the clamps and everything off. All right, now the clamps and everything are off. Everything's good to go. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and get the face put back on, which we got sitting right here. All right, face is back on it. So now we're gonna go take this up and put it back in place. All right, here's the one drawer we modified. So now it's nice and sturdy. And then this is the other drawer. And now it's nice and sturdy now too.